Hi and welcome to a new modern league directly from LMS. This seems to be the new look of Rakdos Cam without Sion, without Binding, without Leyland of the Guild Pack. And it's looking really aggressive. We are playing so many small creatures. We have Stalker, we have Inti to pressure our opponent early on. And still we have this Cam package. We are once again on the Croxa, just one ball. This list is looking really interesting the cyber plan is also adapting to the new format a lot we have glistening deluge as a mass removal spell we are also playing misery's shadow to have more answers to the yogmoth matchup and all those kind of decks i'm going to leave the link to the melee deck profile in the description so go check it out but without further ado let's jump into a league okay 18 lands actually 20 but this is not keepable Okay, we got a land, a single land, and the scam package. This is a keep. And I could bottom the right van, because if I draw a land, I just want one of my two drops to get into play. So yeah, I think I'm going to bottom the right van. Okay, they didn't scam me. So that's already good. Okay, we also got a polluted delta. So I'm going for polluted delta. Blood creeped, and I'm going to pitch Thoughtseize. Martyr of Sands, what is that? Okay, so we take Skycliff and Winds of Abandon. So actually, we have a really good matchup to say in a Glistening Deluge. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Lefroyan and Martyr, sure. Inti, I think I won Voidwalker first. Another field of running into play. And they're going to take my red source. Sure. Another martyr as well. Okay, that's good. Theater. Uh, I don't want another grief. We go Orkish Bow Masters now. Take down one martyr. And then we are going to talk for seven. They're likely dead already. Sure. No more red once again. Troubling Inspector. So if I attack with all, they just block, block, take seven. That's not good. Because they're going to take seven no matter what. In team. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to attack for seven and then I play in team. Okay, they're double blocking. In team go. I mean, they're missing... A blue source for the Supreme Verdict. They miss two mana for Winds of Abandon with Overload. I think we're fine. Indeed. Okay, so Glistening Deluge and Legion's End are coming in. Maybe Pithing Needle as well. Yeah, I think the Pithing Needle on the One Ring is going to be really good. Inti, though. I don't think I need Inti, but it's a good way to go over chum blockers ragavan cannot really do that yeah, maybe this is fine yeah, i think that's okay thoughts is void walker yeah, this is a keep planes inspector i guess nothing oh okay blood creeped thoughts is you do you have a solitude an ephemerate you just have Eagles of the North. Skycliff Operation and Ranger Captain. So I kind of have to take the Ranger Captain. It's too much value. Skycliff is really good though here. Because it's going to take care of my Void Walker. Play another Planes. Ooh, another Thoughtseize though. Sure. They have a lot of fields. Sanctifier and back. Okay, we have an answer for that. So it's not too scary. Let's go for a theater. Stalker. I like the stalker here. Leave that on top. Shoulders edict, non token creature. No more sanctifier. And then fetch shock, stalker. Your turn. Hopefully, they're not going to draw another sanctifier. This could still be a sanctifier. They just conceded like that. Okay. I mean, that's, that's fine. Good game, I guess. Okay, I actually think that this end is not looking that 
bad. So I'm going to keep, we have a survey land turn one into creature turn two, or even grief. So yeah, I think that this end is looking fine. It is also going to cycle away not dead after all, if we uh, don't have a good target for it. Okay, I don't think I need another land here. What are you grave? So this is likely... Okay, so this is likely shadow. Hmm. I don't think there are any other that explain what are you grave preordain. Ooh, there's the grief. Okay, we are going to find out what we are facing. Unless they have a subtlety. No subtlety, nice. Yeah, that's that's shadow. So I'm going to take shoulders edict and drown in the lock. Yeah, those two are the cards you want. Top land go. Now they could try to play land and then Orkish Bowmasters, my grief double block, but we have Orkish Bowmasters as well. So we are going to actually get a lot of value thanks to this attack or maybe they're just going to take end of turn consider if they go for a consider and a play orkish bowmasters then they have orkish bowmasters and we are not in a really good spot so i think that thought seeds might be better this way they might want to play orkish bowmasters now okay they just want to go for a consider i'm still going to discard orkish bowmasters they're still going to to play consider it's unlikely for them to go Orkish Bowmasters. Okay, interesting. This is not getting any value, basically. And they cannot really kill the Grief. Let's see there. They kept that card on top. Okay. Shock, Water, Grief, Ian. So they could have another Orkish Bowmasters. They're attacking me, interesting. Fine. Or maybe that's a counter spell? Shieldress Edict. Fine. Okay, we have Verdant Catacombs. Kinda want to play Inti, maybe? Even Orkish Bowmasters, though, is really good in this spot. We're going to kill their own Orkish Bowmasters. They cannot really go consider or anything like that. I'm still going to fetch. No more... No more Survey Lands. So we're just getting a Shock Land. So I'm going to attack with the army token. If they want to trade, that's fine. And then I go for Croxa. I kind of want to make them discard a card. Instead of just going into to get some value, I think it's fine to make them discard. Because I still think that they have a counter spell in their hand. They discarded Breeding Pool. Okay, so they have uh, Pick Your Poison in the sideboard. That's quite obvious. Delta. Okay, it's time for me to play Inti. There's the counter spell. Sure. We knew that. We're going to talk with the army token again. I mean, their best top deck is probably Shadow, and we have a good answer for that. So I'm not too scared. Pure day. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going for another Inti. I mean, they could have they could have another Orkish Bowmasters. That would be a good card. Drown in the lock. Okay. He's going to attack for two. We still have a removal spell for any blocker. Yeah, they went to bottom with the preordain. Another inti. I mean, sure. And then I'm going to attack this card, the shoulders edict. And I'm going to put a counter on the army token. Push. Okay. I mean, they're down to one. <laughs> I don't think that they have any chance of winning the game. Okay, the free swamp and this turn. Okay. So actually, I think that we are not in a bad shape against Shadow. I could cut the Ragavan, but is Misery Shadow better? I mean, probably it's kind of better than, than Ragavan. Maybe should do something like this, I in the Ragavans, maybe just one Blood Moon. Because it, it's good. I mean, it's not great against counter spells on the draw without Ragavan, but I think it's better. I could say the bone crusher giant maybe maybe on the draw is just a good threat that is going to deal some damage and i think this is what i'm going to decide and misery shadow is just going to be a good beater i mean if i top deck any creature uh, while they are 
in top deck mode, we, we should be able to win. But Ragvan is just too easy to, for them to, to chum block it, to kill it. So yeah, I think that Misery Shadow is a bit better. Okay, so we have a Stoker and double not dead after all. We have a good turn one with a 2 2 Menace into Shadow turn two, Bolt not dead after all. I think we, we kind of. I think it's not a great hand, but we can keep something like this. Okay, so my turn one is going to be Stoker. I'm thinking going to wait turn two to go not dead after all. They might have a push, but yeah, sure. Stern Scolding? Yeah, Stern Scolding. Whatever, that's fine. Let's see. It. So they're going to take Shadow. And now it's time for me to draw Grief. Reading pool and top to preordain. Okay. Okay, they went to bottom. So Grief, please. Inti. I think I should wait a turn to play Inti. I'm just going for a topped Blood Creep past turn. Next turn we go Inti with Not Dead after all. Okay, that's a basic. So they're not going to play any Shadow this turn. Thought seize. Yeah, I think we should thought seize probably into survey land. Yeah, they have a drown. I'm quite sure of it. They have double counter spell. Yikes. Okay, we are taking the shadow. Because if they manage to yeah, next turn it's a shadow plus counter spell. Yeah, we're just taking the shadow. And go ahead. What's your engraved on top? Obviously. Now we could go for a ooh, that's a merc tide. That's that's a good top deck. Sure. So I'm looking for push. I don't think so. Uh, Bolt is not doing much. We are just going to on top throw. Molten Collapse. They still have double counter spell though. So I'm going to play in T. Maybe they're going to counter this one. And then I just need another Thought Seize or a Grief. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. I need to do something. In the next two turns. I think that they took the right choice by not killing Inti. And I think I should probably just try to pressure them a bit. Hold them face. Tuck with Inti. Okay, we gotta land. Even with another Molten Collapse, it's not going to do much. I need Thought Seize maybe? Is that good enough? I don't think so. Uh, yep, that's not good enough. Maybe they're just going to misclick? Let's see. Okay, not misclick, so they won. That Merc Tide was such a good top deck. Okay, on the play, I think he won my Ragvans back. Misery Shadow, Legions, and out. Bone Crusher Giant is still a fine card, I think, though. I'm just cutting one thought, sis. Let's see. Okay, this is a good keep. Um... Okay, no subtlety. They have a thought seize, stubborn denial, dress down. Uh they are missing black mana, so you could take drown and consider. Yeah, I think so. It's, they are still playing a lot of fetch lands, obviously, but I'm not too scared of these other cards. Thought seize is the scariest, probably. What if I just take the thought seize though? Yeah, let, let's take the thought seize, because I want to be able to just go Void Walker turn two, and that's really good against their hand. Play Basic Island. They should go for a Consider now. Yeah. They're not playing poorly. They know how to play the deck. And they kept the card on top, so that's likely a fetch land, right? I think I should play Void Walker now that I have the chance. So this turn they go fetch land, they could, uh, they could play Dress Down, I don't think they, they're going to though. Basic Island again? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so I'm going to Thought Seize, first of all. Or I could just play another Void Walker, but I think that they might have Counter Spell. It's fine though, I mean, we are attacking for 7. Let's attack first, let's see. Yeah, I think that I should probably just go for a Void Walker. No Counter Spell, that's good. So they got Dress Down now, because they want to cycle. And they're looking for something really good. Because otherwise they're just dead. They need a removal spell on the Grief. Okay, we won just like that. Yeah, I don't know. They kept a hand without black. We add Grief, which is really good, obviously. But they still couldn't cast their spells. I don't know. Uh, this is close to being keepable. But yeah, we don't have a fetch to 
buff the stalkers. We don't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, I think I should take a mulligan. This is still risky. Uh, whatever, let's keep. I'm going to bot some Ragivan. Because if I draw Grief, it's better to have a not dead after all to Peach. And we have a lot of uh, one drops to cast anyway. My turn one is going to be Stoker, likely. Okay, we, this, this is a really bad matchup, though. This is a really bad matchup. Yeah, probably. I, don't know, I need another Fetchland to be able to go Thoughtseize into another Stoker, and then maybe we are going to pressure them enough. But they could have. Okay, that's a Walker, not a Ballista, so that's good. Okay, that's a Fetchland. So thoughts is you, and they have the cauldron, so you must take the cauldron. And then we're going to fetch for basic. I don't want to lose too many life points. Tuck for two. They still have as a boss now, and they're likely going to crack this walker, and then they're going to be able to block my stalkers. Ooh, they managed to top deck another cauldron. That's good. That's a good top deck. Okay. So not that after all, he's not even good enough here. Oh, that's so sad. But I'm still going to play Inti, attack with the Stoker. And get a bit of value, I think. If they double block, that's Fine, right, they cannot put counters. And I think that I should do that. Ragavan is never going to be able to do anything. But the same goes for not that after all. Give me a land, please. A fetch land would be crazy good. I'm so dumb. Yeah, I could have discarded the Ragavan. I'm still not used to play around this end. Sure, it's a permanent. Yeah, I had to discard the Ragavan to trigger my my stalkers. Okay, they're still going to double block. But if I discard the Ragavan, they could have put a counter, so that that's fine. Yeah, that's actually fine. They're going to make two two twos, which is not much. We got rid of as a buzz, which is good. They now have put a counter there, though. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the deck is so, so, so annoying with Cauldron and all the triggers and counters and stuff. Are we just going to lose now? I don't think they don't have modular to put counters on the Nexus. Still, they have as a buzz. How do we win? Because that's the question. They can put two counters on the Thopter. I, I think we can concede and go next. I don't know. Because even if I kill this this one, they're just going to pump the other one and then it's all over again. And I cannot really take down the... Um, I cannot really take down the Cauldron right now. So we're going to side in a lot of stuff here. Maybe, maybe that's a bit too much, but we have a lot. Ragavan is out. One Bolt is out. Orkish Bowmasters is out. Maybe we have enough space to side in all this stuff. Because it won't pick the needle. I think Explosive is fine. Moon effects are good. K Command is good. Legion Send is good. Shadow Ear is good. And Lean of the Void is good as well. Uh, maybe Thoughtseize is not great. But it's still a good answer to Cauldron. Cauldreds, Edix doesn't seem so good. Same goes for Croxa. Yeah, I think so. Because they have Cauldron, so my Croxa is never going to be really good. Okay, what do we have here? Into Thoughtseize, into Blood Moon. I think this is, a, this is a keepable hand. Even without Leyland, we have Shadow and Voidwalker to stop their graveyard shenanigans. So turn one thought is. And they have Might. They have Cauldron, Ozolith, and Patchwork Automaton. 
so I kind of want to go for the Ozolith and the Cauldron as well, honestly. So we take Ozolith this turn and the turn after we take the Cauldron with the Grief no matter what. And then they play Patchwork and hopefully we draw land to go Blood Moon and kill them. Okay, I think that, that could be a good line. That could be a fine line, I think. And the Laven, and do they play Might? They could even just wait on the Might, honestly. Okay, we got a Shadow. I think I should go for Inti, though. And the Grief. Obviously, we are going for a Grief here. Because they need to take that Cauldron away. It's just too good. Cauldron. They have, oh, they have the Forest to... To trigger might now, but first you're going to take cauldron, and then you're going to play in team. Your turn. Okay, where's the saga and patchwork? Sure. Okay, we got land. I'm just going for land into blood moon, and then they lose the Urza saga, and they have to lose the might as well. I think that's the right choice. Not going to discard my shadow though. I think it's quite good. I mean, just making them waste a turn basically, and obviously killing the Urza Saga is kind of good. <laughs> so they go for scales into might. Okay, that's good. So I could draw a push or anything like that to just kill the might and keep Blood Moon around. Theater. I think we are going to cycle theater. Voidwalker. I cannot cast a Voidwalker. Play Shadow and pass the turn. Another patchwork. I... Another patchwork. That's... That's kind of bad. Uh, so even if I draw... I mean, I need land plus Legion Sand, and then we are fine. But it's kind of hard. I'm just going to talk with my Inti again. Or is it better to talk with the Shadow? I think I'm going to talk with the shadow. Discard into and get a fetch land. Let's see how they block. They're just there to basically any artifact. Let's play a mountain and your turn. Yeah, this matchup is still so bad. I mean, uh, we're just going to chum block here and take two. But if they have another artifact, we uh, I get a soul cauldron off the top. That's a good game. Okay, fine keep. Pretty aggressive hand. So that's what we are looking for. Is this another? Okay, okay. Uh, that's not shadow. I mean, that could still be shadow, probably. Uh, what do I? Okay, that's good. I think I think I'm not. Going to keep Stalker. I think I have better plans overall. Yeah, my other cards are kind of better. Okay, so we take these two. They still have Bowmasters though. They only add one land though. So imagine having a removal spell for the Ragvan. Whatever, your turn. And they got Thoughtseize. That's fine. I think that's fine. They even drew a land. Okay, that's not fine. That's not fine. They're likely going to take Hinty, I think. No, that's the best choice. We gotta push. I'm just going to play Ragvan and push their own Ragvan. I'm going to attack first, though. Let's see. We might want to play Orkish Bowmaster and trade. Am I fine with that? I don't think so. But then they're going to... They're going to ping the other Ragvan. Attack me with their own Ragvan. We still have a blocker though. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. They still have one Orkish Bowmasters, which they're going to use now, and another Ragvan. Sure. So I take four damage down to 10, but then, okay, they're not attacking with the army token. They want to block the Grief, which is never going to attack now. Froxa. Uh, are you going to cast that Froxa? I don't think it's a bad choice because you know about my Voidwalker and you kind of need to get rid of it. But still, it go it's going into my graveyard then. So if I draw double land, you lose. Not an easy choice, I think. I think I would probably cast it because Voidwalker is such a huge problem now. Okay, yeah, they're going for it. 
It's a drop push. I don't think I'm going to cast this push yet. I'm just going to pass it here. And we have a good blocker for the Ragiban. That's fine. I could pressure them. But then that means that I'm just going to uh, get eat by a Ragiban again. Which is not that good. Okay, they're not attacking. I'm not going to cast push yet. Okay, we got a land to survey land. That's good. And now I might want to go for push on the army token, I think. Unless they have a removal for the grief. In that case, I have to take down the Ragman. Then I'm just going to survey first. Mm, nope, I need a land. I'm not casting push yet. Once again. We play in T, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. I wonder what they have in their hand. Still not talk. So they could have Shield Dread, maybe? Or maybe they have an Undying Effect. Yeah, they could have an Undying Effect. Should they dash this Ragvan then? So if they dash the Ragvan, they're just going to block with Orkish Bowmasters. And then that's getting bigger. But then we have a push. I think I'm not going to... I think I, I should just play a Ragvan and pass a turn. Yeah, they have a Not Dead after all. I'm quite sure of it. And... I don't know, maybe a push for for the Croxa. Yeah, that's not that after all. I'm going to target the army token. Yeah. And there's not that after all. Okay. Now I I'm going to talk with the grief and with the argument as well. Am I just going to talk with all? The block here, I take four, seven. No, maybe not. I'm surely going to talk like this though. There is no way I deal them 6 damage this turn. That's 4, 5, I'm 1 off. And then they play Ragavan, dash the Ragavan, it takes 6, 7. I'm not dead, but they're not dead either. I should probably keep a blocker for a dash the Ragavan. And I should probably pump my grief as well. Both says. That's not good. So the chum block here with the Ragavan and they take 5. Then they chain block their own Ragvan. Double block there. That's not the right choice. Should they cast these thoughts? Is? I mean, the Ragvan is 2 damage no matter what, right? So if I take 2 and down to 9, yeah, I think I should probably just go for the thoughts. Is. Those are a lot of Ragvans, though. Okay. So you take 4, block the Ragvan, then they're dead. So they must keep a blocker. Then we can attack with the Inti as well. That's the Ragman, okay. That's fine. I'm going to block. I think I should block. It's just too risky not to block here. And I am likely going to draw land now. It's been so many turns. Okay, we got the land. So first of all, I'm going to get back the Croxa. Exiling all the non-creature spells I have. Called land. Okay. I'll come back, Froxa. They discard Orkish Bowmasters. And it's fine. Let's trade. They go down to three, and then we have Croxa. So they cannot really play anything because otherwise they're going to die. So yeah, that's good. Doesn't really matter. We have enough damage to kill them all. Yeah, indeed. So against them, I want probably Leyline. I'm not a huge fan of Leyline against Cam, but that's not too bad, I guess. And. Misery Shadow is not too bad either. Maybe. So Bone Crusher is a good card against them. I think we could kind of like Thought Seize maybe. We're on the draw. And this is already a fine sideboard plan. But what else could I side in? I don't know, let's try this shell. Because ne I've never played with Stalker in T against that deck. So maybe they're good enough and they don't need K Command or Legion Sand. And we are the more aggressive deck, so we wish maybe we are fine and we can just pressure them enough. Uh, nope. Yeah, this is not a good keep. Yeah, I couldn't keep that hand. Wow, this is so bad. I have to keep this time, though. We have one land, so Grief is my best out, probably. Even though if they go Ley Lane, we are in such a bad shape. That's it. Do you have Leyline? No Leyline. Okay, that's good. Give me a fetch land, please. 
or a grief. If they go grief and take my Agadim still. Ah, please. Okay, we are dead. <laughs> we are so dead. Yeah, playing Agadim is... I don't know. It's such a risky thing to do. I need two lands in a row. Nah, it's not true. They're going to take Molten Collapse as well. But I still need lands. That, that's, that's surely true. Okay, we've got another Molten Collapse. I'm just going to pass the turn. Dashed Ragvan, okay, I can see it. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Agadim's Awakening in this deck. But it's also true that this is an 18 lands deck, so we should still be fine. These two are just two more lands. We got a bit unlucky. Okay, we don't have a turn one play, and this deck has a lot of turn one plays, so I think this should be a mulligan. These ends are so bad, though. So if I go turn one in theater and I look for the second land, I might miss, but we have a lot of Ragvan, so yeah, I think that this is fine. Okay, second land achieved thought since. That's fine. Dash the Ragvan, White Walker. Your turn. Okay, so they have Orkish Bowmasters. I'm still going to dash the Ragvan though. Not push. Okay, push is fine. Then I'm going to play another Ragvan. What do you have? Fable? They could have Fable in their hand. If they have Fable, we go double Orkish Bowmasters. Five cards though. Yeah, I, I think that one of those might be a Fable and then maybe one not that after all. Theater. Sure. One card on top. Orkish Bowmasters. Okay. Inti, that's fine. So we go Orkish Bowmasters now. And then we play Inti. And they have a grief, maybe. Orkish Bowmasters. Okay. And another one. And she old Resedict. I'm not too sure about Inti. I think it's a really good card, but I still haven't played a good Inti or I don't know. I still haven't got any value out of Inti. Stalker. Okay, Rookish Bowmasters, we play the Stalker, we attack. Even the Stalker is, is a good card, I guess. But maybe, yeah, maybe if you go Stalker, Inti, that's a whole new game. Because then you, you have an engine to draw cards, pump Stalker. And yeah, maybe those two have to go together. I mean, Fable, it's a great card, though. So it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of strange to cut, to just cut mm, completely Fable from your deck. Okay, they're going to trade and take one. And we might draw another Hinti. So I, I shouldn't play this land. Another Ley Line, I think. Oh, that's just a grief. That's just a grief. Nothing to be worried about. Ghost Stalker. Sadly, with Ley Line of the Void into play, it cannot trigger my descent oh god okay let's shrink the grief still i don't think that they're going to talk they're going to talk okay void walker that's a really really powerful card look for one yeah they had an answer uh i think we're going to keep void walker oh they're fetching they might have a good deems just to get back or kishpo masters what is that five mana is that really a good game? Wow, it is. Okay. We're taking one and they have five damage into play. Okay, that's a good blocker. I'm just going to attack again. Now they can do much more. And that's a bolt. They're dead to a bolt as well. If they attack me, we block like these, right? I could even block, fetch for basic, kill. And oh, they're just attacking with the one thingy. Yeah. I need another Stoker or any removal spell. Agadim. Uh, should I Agadim? I think so. I think you should Agadim for Kishpo Masters and try to end the game. Yeah, they are healing. Okay, we won with the Stoker and the Agadim that I talked bad about. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, last game of the league, and we're on the we're on the play with um. Questionable end, but I think that overall Doty into Doty is actually fine. And if they have a turn one creature, we just bolt it and go ahead. So yeah. otherwise, we have the Surveil Land, which is a really good option. I I'm enjoying a lot Surveil Lands. Cannot okay, creature. I'm just going for my Surveil Land. Ragvan. 
I think that our Vagvan is not bad here. I'm going for for Voidwalker. Am I? Because uh, it's likely for them to have removal spell. I think I should go for Ragvan. They kill the Ragvan and Voidwalker gains a bit of value. But also going for Voidwalker now means that next turn I can go Voidwalker plus Ragvan. Yeah, this is a, a Voidwalker turn. Even if they have a removal spell, that's fine. What if they are creativity though? Let's see. Okay, that's interesting. That could, that could be creativity, I guess. I kept that card on top. Should I go for a grief? Oh, this is so risky, but I kind of want to go for a grief. Now nah, let let's see. We don't have enough information to to go aggressive on a grief. Just to maybe they are a scam and we lose a grief and the card just just doing nothing. They are obviously not scam, but I mean you know what I what I'm saying. Push. Lots in wire. Okay. Do we just play another white walker? And the Ragivan. And next turn we can go off Grief. I think that they're going for another Surveillance, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. So that could still be some kind of creativity. Ragivan go. They kinda need double removal spell. Ren and six. That's annoying. This is indeed annoying. Thoughts is nah, they're getting my grief. Yeah, I think that they have creativity in their hand. Oh well, I'm just going to talk. Damn, I don't care about the Vran. Or do I? Let's kill the Vran. Let's kill the Vran. Maybe they only have three lands. And we keep a bolt for the dwarf token. But I need the discard spell so badly. Fable. Yeah, Fable. So we have to kill the shaman token. Okay, they missed the land drop. Yeah, that's kind of good. So we kill the shaman. Give me a discard spell, please. Soccer is not that good, but at least it's able to kill a dwarf token. So that's fine. Thank you for a three. I'm not going to waste a Voidwalker just to cast their own thoughts. Is at least for now we are not that desperate. And they discard bitter union and persist. Sure. Dwarf and mine. Do you go for creativity? If they go for creativity, that means they have another copy of it. Or maybe they didn't read the stalker. And they should wait a turn. I don't know. Let's just kill the dwarf token. Another Void Walker. So this turn I go Void Walker into Thought Seas. Because it's likely for them to have another creativity in their hand. Come on. Ooh, that's so good. That's my Archon now. Your turn. They're going to cycle a lot of cards though, because they have double bitter union. And they have a reflection. So yeah, I don't think that they played around the Stoker at all. Maybe they didn't read the card. This card Brandon Six. So now you go again, Bitter Union. And we get Yarkon into play. I need not that after all. That's my best bet. Shouldress Edict. That's good. That's good. So I'm going to first of all cast these. And that's a non-token creature. But then they're not going to sacrifice the thingy. But I wanted the fable in the exiled. Let's cast the Archon. Yeah, I don't know if that was the right choice because now they can go creativity on the dwarf token. Never mind, we have Orkish Bowmasters. Never punished. Ooh, that's a survey land. That's good. So they don't have creativity in their hand as their last card. What? They discarded creativity. So that means that their end is not a land and not creativity now. Maybe they're going to creativity my Archon. Transmogrify. Exile target creature, creatures controller, guess, blah blah blah. Okay. I give on. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. It could have been a thief. Another void walker, maybe. Okay, they conceded. So what do we want? Explosives. Okay, command, probably. And that's it. Shadow is not that good. They're on the Persist plan, we might say the in ley lane, but I think that they're just going to cut all the Persist and stuff. And we are going to cut like these two for Bone Crusher Giant. Molten Collapse is not that good, maybe Push is just better though. And maybe something like this is fine. I'm not too sure about ley lane of the Void, I think that they're just going to cut Persist though. Uh, I think this is a, an okay keep. It's not the best, but Orkish Bowmasters is really good against them. And they need to answer my Ragvan turn one, so that means that they have a turn to deploy Orkish Bowmasters before they go for a bitter triumph. 
It's also true that they could have Brennan 6. So I might want to play around Brennan 6. Uh, do I? I think I'm not going to play around Brennan 6. If they have Brennan 6, that's okay. Yeah, it's been a long time since I faced creativity, so maybe I lost the right uh, play path. Uh, that's just a bolt, okay. And they go fetch. No, that's just a shock land. So they didn't have creativity. But I think I shouldn't go for Orkish Bowmaster Sorcery Speed. I'm just going to wait. And then we go Survey Lands, hopefully. I don't really want to play Orkish Bowmasters now. Okay, that's a tough land. And pass the turn, okay. Survey Land. Stop giving me lands, please. I need a Grief now. Another land. Yikes. Okay, we play a fetch and then we pass the turn. They cannot go creativity next turn because we still have Orkish Bowmasters. But I mean, if I don't draw anything, it's not going to be good at all. Four mana? What do we have for four mana? Fable and one red source on top. That's interesting. So you have another bolt. Is that what you're telling me? I'm just going to fetch for a top blood crypt. Top row. Thought seize. Good one. Really good draw. Let's fetch again. I'm going to fetch no matter what. What is you? Fate of Summer. That's your card. Okay. Okay. I could have played Orkish Bowmasters though. Nah, I want to deal one damage to the Goblin Shaman. As soon as that thing gets into stock, we go for Orkish Bowmasters on the Goblin Shaman. And just playing as if they have no creativity available. I think it's my best bet to try to win the game. And the Bolt, the Bowmasters, and then they have something else. Elix, what is that? Okay. Uh, Bitter Triumph. Okay, fine. So they wasted two cards just to get my Orkish Bowmasters, but they still have a Goblin Shaman token into play. Oh, well, next turn my Agadim is going to get me back Orkish Bowmasters and Ragavan. That's kind of good. That is indeed kind of good. Yeah, because I'm not throwing anything else though. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get back those two. King face, attack with the army token. So they just surveilled once and they drew with the Veil of Summer. So there is still a chance that they didn't get any creativity or transmogrify. It's unlikely, because it's unlikely, but there could still be a chance. They kept one card on top and they bolt or Kish Bowmasters. Okay. Am I going to trade? I think so. I think I should just trade. Because they just need a land for Dwarf Token to, to kill the Vragivan freely. Another Fable. And they use the Treasure. Why though? Two Fables in one turn? Yep. <laughs> Those are a lot of Fables. I don't think it can get out of this spot. Ooh, that's a Croxa though. <laughs> that is a Croxa. Let's get back the Croxa. And I'm going to talk for two. They're likely going to block, and now it's kind of better for me to because they have a lot of chum blockers thanks to the reflection, but I'm still going to make them discard a card every single turn. What do I need here? A removal for the reflection is obviously good, or a removal for the goblin shaman, because they're likely going to target the shaman before blockers. Yeah, so I need edict. Oh, they're playing something. I mean, obviously, if they have creativity, that's going to be really bad for me. They're just flashbacking strike it breach. Cannot attack me. Give me something good. That's not good. Still going to attack, though. They discarded the Archon. Now they're going to block with the Shaman token. Yeah, if they are smart, they're just going to block like this without cloning it first. I think that this was my last chance of winning, though. Because now, how can I beat three reflections still have a froxa that's true so maybe they draw a land and we draw bolt wow they're not playing around the removal spell let's see if they concede if i do this no they don't uh, that's annoying okay okay there we go we tried <laughs> they're going to talk sure because those are a lot of tokens Another fetch and that's not good enough. Yeah, we lost, sadly. I drew so many lands this game, though. Yeah, those, those are a lot of lands. Wow, I just played like one, two, three, four, five, six spells in the whole game. 
And I just want them to discard the card just to get more info for the next game. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, those are a lot of. What? Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. If they triple, they're doing it wrong. That that's not how it works. What? They're going to lose all the tokens by the end of the turn. And that's interesting. This card is a bitter reunion. Wait. Okay. What is going on? What are they doing? They're just letting me win. What? I mean, that's good. They're down to two. And they lost two fables. It was such a bad play. Maybe they didn't even, they didn't play the deck before, I don't know. This turn I think that they had just to chum block and end of turn use the reflection to make a bunch of reflection copies and then attack for lethal. Maybe they're playing around something that I might have in my hand, but I have no clue what. We won. I, but whatever. That that's a win, I guess. So we got a 4-1, and I'm not sure about this list, because I kind of like it, but it, it feels so wrong, because cutting Fable is such a strange idea. But yeah, going aggressive in this meta probably is the right choice. We still have an engine, Inti is a really good engine to, to get cards out of nowhere, so you are a bit more explosive in the early turns, and then you don't really need a Fable. But still, I don't know, Fable is such a good card in this deck. Yeah, I always enjoyed going creature, creature, turn of three Fable, and that's just good game. But yeah, I don't know, I didn't really miss Fable too much. We still won the Scam Mirror, we still lost uh, to Arden and Scales, which was one of the worst matchup. I don't think that this list is any better against Arden and Scales. But still, it is a viable option. It's also cheaper, because Stoker and Inti are obviously a lot, lot cheaper than a full set of Fables. So you might want to start with a list like this. It's not even playing Shieldred, so yeah. But anyway, thanks for tuning in once again. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, share, and see you in the next one.